Hey, what is up guys? Um AE here and I am sorry. I'm very sorry, but one of the video I just uploaded it um it's about this tutorial number 31. It got rejected cuz it was like 15 seconds too long. So, I'm going to try to get this done really quick, but I really want to show you what it is first. So, uh it is BC Trico. I used it in here at 127. So turn the volume down right there. See that? Well, you better because I'm not going to go back. All right. <laughs> okay, so here we have our clip. I kind of edited it a little out. Um, I just cut the clip and I twixtered it. So um, if you really want to see what I did. Oh. Fuck that. I'm not going to show all of that. I will show up to here. No. God, mouse! Right here. I'll show here. That's all I did. I changed it from there to there, and I twixted it, and yada yada yada. All right. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is slap on a color correction. So, magic book looks. Open that up. I'm gonna just bring up a preset so I can be fast. Um, hurry the fuck up. There we go. And ooh, this is a preset that I gave you. Right her. Yeah, right here. It's too green up here, so I'm gonna turn the diffusion down. Um, diffusion the size can go down. One, the grade can go down to one, and then the glow can not to zero, but I'll bring that to twenty. I'll bring the highlight only to not one hundred, but to like ninety. Exposure, I'll bring that. No, I don't wanna bring it down. I'll bring it to like point one. And I'll bring this, the blackness of it down. So like right here. All right. So here's what we have. We have this, and it's still the same fucking color. Hold on. I'm gonna turn the greens down. Come back to reality, bitch. All right. This should be a little bit. Yeah, that's a lot better. All right. And then. Maybe you can add a flash, and yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, cut to the chase. Um, this is the auto trace part that I was um, talking about. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to find, uh, not auto trace, but it's kind of like auto trace. You're gonna want to find when you want it to trace. So I want it to trace right here on. So um, do well, actually duplicate this entire uh, clip that you have, and split it right when you want it to start and then clip it right when you want it to end but I want it to end right here so, so it's all fine alright so next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to the very beginning of the clip so right here and then you're gonna wanna look up see if I remember this um, find edges so right here we're gonna look up find edges and then that looks fucking crazy alright and yeah, I know it looks crazy, but don't mess with the find edges. It's perfectly fine right now. And then you're gonna wanna look up CC toner. Under color correction, drag it on, and then um, it'll give you white, or we yeah, got white for the highlights, which you wanna change, and midtones and shadows, you just wanna change them both to white. So what's gonna happen is everything's gonna be white. Now, you wanna find a color that is not in here. So like red isn't in here, but uh, green works the best. But green is in the color correction. So I'm just gonna turn off the color correction. Then I'm gonna go to green. I'm gonna select it. And then what we're gonna have is that. Now that looks freaking stupid, but if we add a key light, if we add a key light and we bring it on the green, it looks pretty cool, I would say. Pretty cool so um that's all that you really need um, I'm gonna go to like seven seconds and then I'm gonna keyframe the opacity scale and opacity we go all the way to the end I'm gonna have him scale the opacity go down and the scale to go way up like way freaking up all right so go to the graph editor with their 
two scale points selected and this is just animating it and then go to the very top one where it's like at 346 for me uh, you want to click uh, easy ease and drag it out as far as you can so it kind of goes like really quickly and then it just dies and it doesn't really look good because the opacity hasn't faded so you're going to want to do the same thing to the opacity Same thing, just click that, drag it all the way up, and then you should be good to go. Yeah. Alright, so, turn on the color correction, and it looks, that looks crazy. That looks freaking ridiculous. And if you had a flash, and since, since it gets dark over here, the whites in the highlight usually pop out more, so that's good. And that's all I really wanted to cover, but I want to position it in. See, it just kind of pops in. So, um, I'm going to pre-compose I'm going to pre-compose this layer again and call it ed edges. And then what I'm going to do is split it again, same length. Um, have it opacity fade in, so it's going to be at 0 and it's going to go right here, going to be 100. And then I'm going to have the position fade in. Or kind of not position fade in but like position itself in and yeah so I'm gonna bring that down and so it kind of brings itself in I can add a fast blur along with that so that it doesn't look too bad if that makes any sense go back here make a keyframe for the blurriness Go up one frame, bring it to like, I don't know, 15. Uh, go to the end of position, make a keyframe for 15. So I'm just going to quick keyframe it at 15, go forward like 5 frames, 6 frames, bring it down to 0. Alright, so it brings it up like that, and but that's not good enough for me. Alright, that is not good enough. So um, I'm going to click on the rectangle tool, double click on it with edges selected, and it'll make a mask. And I want the mask feathering right here to be like 250 pixels, and I want the mask expansion to be like 50. All right, and then we're gonna bring it in once it's in, I guess. Um, that's good enough. I'll just go six frames forward and then bring them both down to zero because you are in the clip. And then there you have it. Um, there is your little uh, find edges animation trick. Um, another thing you can do is add Twitch. I don't know how much time I have left, so I'm going to go really quick. Twitch. No! Um, I'm going to add Twitch real quick. So 10, 70, I'm going to enable only blur and light. I'm going to go to operator controls, blur. I'm going to bring, no, that should be fine because we're at 70. But the light I want to bring down to like 30. All right. So uh, keyframe the amount. Yeah, you want to keyframe the amount and speed at 100. Go to like, I don't know, 6.5. Bring both down to 0. And now I'm going to ram, ram preview this real quick. And then the tutorial will be over. So hopefully I got it inside the time mark. Um, if not, then I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do this again. You won't be watching this. That looks kind of cool. Um, I can also add a flash. Fuck. I, have, I really have to do this. I want to make this look really good. Alright, so I'm going to add a flash. So that um, you can't really see the edges come up that much. So I'm going to have it come up much then over here or at six I'm gonna bring it back down to zero all right ram preview this one more time and then we're done come on <sighs> wasn't really too good but whatever that should be fine all right so the final product like that all right All right, so that looked pretty cool, and that was my secret, secret tutorial. And if this video gets 25 likes, you got 30 on the last one. This should be no problem. If it gets 25 likes, then I will 
make another really cool tutorial tomorrow. And I assure you guys that you will love it. So um, this has been Using AE. I hope you enjoy this effect, and peace out.